also good that also the part of a main purge method because we have different ways. Main purge method is going to be the step by step process which will help you to merge your document where we can join our main document along with the data source. By joining these two documents, we do our merging. So the theoretical part is already explained in the theory booklet, but the practical I'm going to show you during my video tutorial. So let us come forward and see how to perform our practical by using my video method. Now we'll be starting with our mail merging system. The first thing that you need to do is, uh, I have uploaded already in the YouTube uh, my PDF file where we have the guideline for the superintendent that is the different types of practical for different subjects as mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, here I have a practical for mail merging. This is an example where we have with the help of mail merge facility send your birthday invitation letter to 5 of your friends, design a sample data source in Excel for this purpose, the data source should have at least 5 fields, first name, last name, address, city, pin codes, and then take a printout of this merged document as an invitation letter. Whereas different types of centers do not have the facility of providing printout. So what you can do is just prepare your data source and the teacher would come and see the process or the way you have used to make your mail merge system. Now, in terms of preparing an invitation letter, in the previous practical above, there is a question to prepare an invitation letter. But if there is not, then you need to prepare one sample invitation letter where you can do the mail merge for the following. Now, today I'll be teaching you in this case how to make a data source using Excel or Microsoft Word. I have a sample data source prepared here on Microsoft Excel. It's as we all know that Microsoft Excel contains rows and columns and each one is called a cell. So as per the given criteria, we have the first name, last name, address, city and pin code already written here as you can see. I have written that, filled in the person's information and saved this as data source. After saving this as data source, let me consider my this document to be as a letter where I have my date, the person to whom I have to send, the year, and whatever the story of the content is. I haven't written a complete letter, but this is the way a content should be. Then, as per this content, our next process is to do the main merge. Before we start doing the main merge, the most important thing is to make sure your blinking cursor is right below the word 2, because it is the place where the person's information would be mentioned. After clicking on that particular area, the next thing we have to do is go to the mailing tab. By going to the mailing tab, we need to go to start mail merge and then choose step by step mail merge wizard. By moving to the step by step mail merge wizard, you can look over here that is step 1 of 6, that is the first step. There are 6 steps to be completed in order to make this document which is your main document as a merged document. As we know theoretically, a main document along with a merged, uh, the, along with the data source equals to merged document. So this is your main document, let us merge it. We need to choose the type of document that we need. Here I am choosing the letter because we need to send a letter. After clicking on the letter, we do the next. In next, they would give me a suggestion whether I have to use the current document which is already this one or I need to make a template or have an existing document which might have been saved earlier in my desktop. But currently since we have already prepared this letter that is an invitation letter, so I would use the current document and move to step 3. In step 3, we need to choose our data source. Here I will be teaching you the 3 ways of preparing your data source. The first way is already taught to you which is your Microsoft Excel. Okay. Then um, second method is to prepare using Microsoft Word. So you can go to the data source of Microsoft Word and no matter which Microsoft Office you are using 7, 5, 13, 10, it all doesn't matter. Here we have used our rows and columns and also prepared our person's information as required the same way like Excel and save this document also as data source. So preparing a data source on Excel or uh, Word is very easy. And these two documents which are already saved on your system would be regarded as use an existing list. Okay. If you have to, and the second method was to use from select from an Outlook contact. If you are using Microsoft Outlook that is continuously sending and receiving emails from different people using Microsoft Outlook, you would already have a person's information saved over there as data source. Usually this option does not come in the exam because it requires internet connection. The third method of preparing a list is going to a type a new list. 
and type a new list if you click it and if you don't have any data source prepared on excel or microsoft word as done right now the only option you have right now is to prepare a new list by typing a new list you have to create and then according to the fields provided here which is like first name last name company name these are already pre templates already present over here with different information like address city state zip code the only thing is that you need to in fill in the information which are only necessary and save them and only that particular type of data source would be used over here but since the teacher or the examiner has already asked us to prepare a new data source using excel as you can see here or they might tell us a word then in that case we need to type a using an existing list now i will check the location let me select my list uh, the location could be from browse and I right now it's on desktop I'll be choosing my excel sheet so this is my excel data source which I'll be choosing okay it goes as open and then this one tells me it is sheet 1 which contains the person's information and with this what I'll be doing is I'll be going with the ok after using this one as my the excel sheet we would wait for the system to come up let the data source get read once it's read by the system it will show you as such the last name first name address city and pin code automatically all the data source would be read by the system computer uh, for whether it be on excel or microsoft word and all the details would be given to you here according to it we press ok and that's what tells me that my microsoft word has correctly chosen the data source for this mail merge now the next step is to go to step 4 which is write your letter here we need as I told you to choose from first the blinking line we need to go to address block by clicking on the address block we can see how the person's name city and uh, address appears first name last name city and address we are not adding the pin code what if you want to add a pin code what will happen this one I'm going to teach you in the second part where which I'm going to teach you match field the second part is when I'm going to do the second part of this question this is the first part of the question now after I press ok and I'm happy with this information you can see something called as address block appears here no need to panic it's fine that that address block is something that contains the hidden information which is the information of the particular people that you require and then preview your letter which is now step 5 by pressing that step 5 you could see how it changed the address block changed over here I'll show you again previous by pressing next the person's information comes in there automatically and if I want to change the recipient, I can go here and change continuously to show my teacher how I have done. Recipient 2, recipient 3, you can see here it's changing. And then recipient 4, recipient 5 and that is how my mail merge is now complete. No one can stop me to get my full mark. And then finally, complete the merge. By pressing complete the merge, we either can print from here if a printer is provided, otherwise simply close it, save this file and your teacher will see how you have done. Now the trick here is that you people can't type this information by yourself because if you type it by yourself when I try to backspace this thing you see this all gets highlighted at one time but by back if I would have typed this thing just like this one then it would get deleted as such so if it gets deleted in here that means the person has not used mail merge system they have just simply done the typing nothing gets bolded but here you can see the whole thing gets bolded. So this one in here is actually the mail merge system which we have used for question 1 and this one is for the Microsoft Excel data source. Let us come forward and now look for how to use mail merge wizard using the second part of the question. I would like to keep the same letter. So what I'll do is I'll just rub this part and keep it ready and just minimize it. Excel sheet letter we can close it because we don't need it right now we will move to the second part of the question the second part of the question was as you can see here the second part of the question is with the help of the mail merge facility use the file invitation for example you might have made a file previous in the previous question which is here to prepare a file and rename it as invitation it can also be a birth date or anything as your main document as discussed earlier and invitees as a data source this might be a data source example and then you might have used this data source and to prepare your merge them by merging the main document and data source together as mentioned earlier we prepare the merge document and then the document should contain the person's first name last name designation institute and city this 
data source I prepared on Microsoft Word uh, as mentioned earlier see first name last name designation city and institute I will use this as my data source because it is prepared on Word they have not asked the question whether to prepare it on Excel or on Word so it is completely fine the only thing that we can do right now is choose any way you want to do Excel or Word I prefer it on Word so that I can show you a different way you can also use Excel now by using on this word the next thing I will do is again go to my letter this side and here I am going to start my mail merge system by going to the mailing start mail merge step by step mail merge wizard completely I might have to go to the first part I am going to choose letter use the current document use an existing list and browse it this time it is going to be a word document not an excel document so data source on word open wait for all the information of the person to come here press ok the document has been chosen keep writing my letter don't forget the blinking line where the address block has to come once the address block has come you can see that in our format of the question the examiner had asked us to mention the first name last name including the title but here in my table I haven't written the title the title can be Mr. or Mrs. or Dr. whatever it is but you can add an extra column in Microsoft Word and mention it over there it doesn't matter so I'm just using first name last name designation institute and city all these fields need to come but as you can see here in my system only the first name last name and the city appears the designation and the institute is not appearing what can I do to do that to add this thing again no need to panic if your system makes any issue just go to match field here are a pre-formed list of materials which are present that is the different types of address or required stuff present what you can do is we already have the first name and the last name if you didn't have it it will be written as not matched if it is there already then it is like that so our first name and last name is there and our city is over there what we need is the designation and the institute so designation is a person's information so what we could do is that either we could go for and the second thing we require is the institution the institution can be regarded as a company name so let me find where is the company name here company name company name if I find try to find it somewhere in here I would see their company yes this is the company when I'm going to choose it, the company and you can see the options that they give over here are from the options for my data source which I chose so the company name is going to be an institute name so automatically now the institute name is going to appear there so one two three has already come and this is the fourth one which is already there the fifth one is a job person title so here we need to see whether we can choose a department if you want to enter the department we can enter the department as designation or if not department then you can also choose a job title that is also a good way to put the designation and if you don't get the job title also somewhere here and there then you can either choose any other thing that should come appear and that thing would uh, come in the system anywhere you can do it all you just have to play around to do this thing after you do that you can just press ok we'll see yes first name last name company name and the city the only thing that does not come is the designation so for this designation as I told you we need to find where I have chosen the designation area it is a job title but it's not appearing so you can just simply choose anything that can just come up maybe an address 3 let me just try because it all it's all about playing you know it didn't come so maybe you need to remove in the areas where it is like duplicated you know so I'm just gonna remove the areas where I have done more than one time the designation choose a different um, criteria maybe I can choose a state it might help yes by choosing anything else it has come so now I have first name last name the company name or the institute name uh, the city and the designation which is ok and this saves like before address block by pressing my next button I would see the person's information appearing there 
you can see that one two three four and then the fifth one and so change the recipient one two three and keep on going and you can find the information complete the mail merge print it out otherwise do whatever you want to do by showing the teacher like that the teacher would just simply come up click in here press the backspace if all gets highlighted mail merge is done completely 100 on 100 but if it is in this case then it is not complete so make sure that you are doing the proper method of doing mail merge i guess that this video should help you in performing the mail merge because you have learned right now how to prepare your data source in an excel on microsoft word using the mail merge system and also preparing a data source you have seen different ways of changing the information which should be present inside the data source which are this one using the match button and by this thing you have now completely done or you're going to be perfect by using mail merge system it is one of the important part in the examination as it contains also 10 marks not bad enough you can get nice 10 marks enough to score in your practical exam for data entry which has a total score of 60. fine so finally thanks for watching the video Thank you.